guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for the Quilted Snowman. This is by Lori Holt. I got this kit from Fat Quarter Shop, whom I shall link down below in the description box. I'm an affiliate for them, so it really helps me if you use my link when you shop. I'm just loving this quilt. Today, we're gonna be making the Glitter Star Blocks. We're making uh, three of them. It should be pretty quick. Knock on wood, famous last words. I've already got my pieces cut. Can't share the cutting. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna make flying geese. So we've got our A unit and C units. We're making 12 total. So right sides together. So corner to corner, right down the middle. Be sure and pull out some of these because, uh, you know, the other side has got to be a matching fabric, so. We're making four for each colorway. Four flying geese units for each colorway. about doing two different sections of this video because I don't figure this will take us more than 30 minutes but the next section I think will probably take the full hour so this is probably just going to be a short video this week. Cut all these apart. Pipu's got the zoomies in there. I can hear him. <laughs> I can hear him. Alright, take these and you're going to trim about a fourth of an inch away from your stitch. And then we'll flip it up and press it up. I've 
got my quilted witch on the bed right now. She's a stunner. it gets so hot oh there I thought like Michael Jackson <laughs> get this last one out I literally burned my pinky on that fabric Almost put a green on that. I love when the Lord has these patterns that take us step by step, block by block, section by section. It just makes a huge quilt like this so tackleable. Is that a word? Tackleable. You can tackle it. It's really not hard at all when you break it down into simple steps. Just cut these apart and do the same thing to the other side. Trim, flip, press.
that two of each colorway pull out. Okay, two of each one. Take your square here, and they're gonna go on each side of the two we pulled out. It's a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Standard from the edge to your stitch should measure a fourth of an inch. And most foots that are on your machine are a fourth of an inch. So like mine, I know that it's about straddling that this foot here. With my fabric, I know I'm getting a fourth of an inch. And if I want to scant, I scoot it over just a little bit more where my foot, metal foot here, I start my fabric outside that. And I usually do a scant. These are our center blocks. So take the other two that we left and we're gonna put them on either side like this. I'm just pressing all of these now to the solid blocks. And just do the other side. Now we can put the other side of these squares on. It's probably going to be the quickest Sew With Me video in the history of Sew With Me videos.
This is my block on the side. I'm making a side quilt. And I use this as leaders and enders. This is the scrappy crossroads that I'm working on. It's a Lori pattern from our Scrappiness is Happiness book, which I highly recommend if you love scrappiness. It's a great way to use up your stash, your scraps. Just press all these to the solid squares again. I think this is the first quilt I've ever made with a brown background. I'm reading, a, oh my gosh, such a good book right now, y'all. It's a novel. Um, it used to be all I would read is like drama or comedy novels and this are quirky, weird, offbeat stuff. And this is definitely a quirky, weird, offbeat stuff. My jam, like an independent film kind of thing. Um, I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I've read two of his other books that were so freaky, like sci-fi. I don't, I love him. I've, this is the third one I've read of him, Ian Reid. He also has The Foe and we spread they like make movies off these books because they're so freaking good all right they're kind of like um what's happening what i guess it is kind of a mystery but not that in the traditional sense you're just it's like it's they're very kafka-esque if you know about, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know about Kafka. So the whole time you're just thinking, what's going on? If they don't explain, I, it's just, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain, but I dig it. I dig it. I've been reading a book. It's only a five hour audio book, so I know it's a, it's gotta be a pretty small book. That's a blink of an eye in an audio book. They're usually about 12 hours, an average size one. Okay, I'm going to press these to the edges. There's a finished Scrappy Crossroads block. I'm pressing it to here. That turned out really nice. Good job, Andrea. Pat yourself on the back, girl. That's really good. What I'm doing here is I'm looking at my, I'm looking at where my seams are and making sure that I'm nesting. I'm centering up the center and then I know, see how they're nested? that they should be lined up perfectly. Buffy, girl, don't even start with that. Um, Buffy, <laughs> you're about to get grounded. You're going to get grounded, girl. There we go. Thank you. Sometimes she's a little difficult. There we go. Uh-oh. Well, she just saw that and saw that. I didn't have to cut this apart. Looks good, though. That looks good, too. Perfect. 
perfection. I couldn't have done that any better. not perfect but it's dang near close it's like a half of an eighth of an inch off Pressing action. Get them nice and flat and smelly good. There's block number one. A plus. I'm giving myself on that one. I'm gonna give myself an A plus on this one too. I think. Perfection. A plus. This one's probably just going to be an A because of that half of an eighth of an inch. It's perfect there. There's where it's off a little bit. So I'm going to say an A. What do you guys think? Told you is a short one. My goodness. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch So With Me, and I'll see you at the next.